Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce two new extensions that were launched in conjunction with Tackle Structures version 2021. So the primary purpose of these extensions is to allow for more streamlined collaboration between Tackle Structures and other file formats that you may come across on your project. So specifically, we have quite a few users that want to collaborate in Tackle Structures with Navisworks files and also with Revit files. So what we've done is we've launched extensions here, as you can see, that will allow you to insert Navisworks files directly into Tackle Structures. So file extensions NWC, NWD, NWF, allowing you to use those as reference models, just like you would any other reference model that you are inserting into Tackle Structures. That's the first extension. The second one is very similar. This allows you to insert a native RVT file directly into Tackle Structures for collaboration, class checking, that sort of stuff, uh, just like you typically would with other file formats that you can import as reference models. So for the RVT file, this won't allow you access to the drawings or other data. It's just going to bring in the geometry, but it'll allow you to view it in connection with your constructible model within Tackle Structures. So let me open up Tackle Structures here. Once those are installed, you can open up your reference model side pane. And now when you go to add model, I'll drag this over and click browse. You'll notice that you have new file extensions that you can import here. So we have the NWC, NWD, and NWF. Those came from the Navisworks extension. And then we have the .rvt file that came from the Revit extension. So then you can then select the files that you want to insert, just like you would any other file. Click on open and those will then become available in your models list. So to save time, I already have some that are accessible. So let me go ahead and turn on this Trimble phase two. This was the uh, phase two project that we did uh, out in Westminster. And so I'll just go ahead and turn this on and then we can see that in relation to our Tackle Structures project. All right. And now I can begin interacting with this just like I would any other reference model. So first, just so that we can take a look directly at the file, let me turn off the native Tecla objects. And then I'll just hit Control P. And this is all of the information that's coming in uh, directly from the Navisworks file. So of course, I can spin this around. We can zoom in and take a closer look at the specific model. And then if we want to take a look at it in connection to the Tecla Structures project, then I'll just toggle these parts back in so it'll bring me in my model. And everything else works just like you would expect. So if we wanted to put in a clip plane and drag this across so that we can look uh, more cleanly at an elevation, then I can spin this around. We can zoom in and see how in this particular model everything's interfacing with our steel. If I select this and run a class check, just like our other reference models, that information will show up. If I double click on this, just like our other reference models, and expand this, then I can see the layers that are included. So I can easily toggle those on or off, uh, adjust the location, of course, as you would expect. We can even do change detection, which is nice. So if you had different versions of a Navisworks file, you could load it in and be able to see that uh, and then of course interact with user defined attributes as needed. So uh, very similar to all of the reference models, uh, this just allows you the ability to bring in a Navisworks file or a Revit model to be able to collaborate and communicate more efficiently if those file formats are being used on the project that you're working with. So. As mentioned before, these are available for download on the Tecla Warehouse. I'll provide direct links to the download pages in the description of this video, so you can just click on those and download those. But as always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.